What's going on, guys? It's your boy Chris here. It's been a minute, I know. Um, just to explain what's been going on. Uh, my new job, I've been training for the past couple weeks, so it's kind of taken me away from this. I promised an MLB preview that I was going to do, so here it is. But first, for Dirk, who requested this song, this one's for you, brother. I had to do that. Anyway, <laughs> that'll probably get me in a bunch of trouble, but I don't care because it's worth it. Anyway, on to the preview. So, here's the way this is going to break down. I'm going to go through division winners, wild cards, pennant winners, world champion, postseason awards, and predictions for my hometown Orioles. Because I got to do a deep dive on my boys. Anyway, and before anybody says it, yes, I know games have already started. I was going to do this last night, but I fell asleep watching Dynamite and All Access. Sorry, it, this shit put me to sleep. I'll get into that in tomorrow's video. Actually, there's one more thing I want to do. To everybody that watches this, if you could put some positive thoughts out there for my dad, I would greatly appreciate it. He's back in the hospital. Uh, same thing that happened last year happened again. Um, just, just something where he's not getting enough oxygen and his, his levels keep dropping. I don't know what's going on. They're trying to figure it out. Um, so that's where things stand with that. So if you can send like thoughts, positive energy his way, I would greatly appreciate it. In advance, thank you to everybody out there. I love you guys. Now, on to the previews. AL East, a.k.a. the hardest division in baseball. The division winner that I have for that division is the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, I don't, the Boston stinks. Uh, they're not going to be very good this year. Uh, I'm sorry, Joey. I'm sorry. I love you, dude, but they're going to be sorry this year. Uh, Tampa Bay doesn't quite have enough to get it done. Um, New York. Their pitching is injured to shit, so I don't have faith in them getting it done either. The Blue Jays have the most complete roster in that division and can make a real run at it. And I know I left the team out. I'll get to them in a second. I'll get to them when it comes to wild cards because they're one of my picks. But I go into a deep dive on that then. In the AL Central, I've got the Cleveland Guardians. Reason? Minnesota? They they choke every year, so I can't, I don't have faith in them. Uh, the White Sox are not going to be good. And Detroit? Mm, no. And Kansas City? Mm, no. Just no. Hell to the no. In the AL West, I've got, obviously, I've got uh, the Houston Astros. 
they're the best team in baseball until otherwise noted. Um, until someone dethrones them, they're that team. Point blank, period. They're the best team in the game right now. They're complete from top to bottom. Um, I don't see a lot of teams going through them. Um, Texas, they made a lot of improvements, but will it be enough? Right now, my answer is no. Next year, they're going to be trouble for somebody. Uh, Seattle, I will get to in a minute. And uh, Tex and uh, Oakland, Ace fans, you deserve much better than this bullshit that they're putting on out there for you. I'm sorry. That that's all I can say. I'm sorry. Um, wild cards in the AL. I've got Tampa Bay. Not good enough to win the division. Always tough to beat, and they're gonna get one of the wild card spots. Seattle Mariners get the second spot. They did it last year, and they're and they're going to be a better team this year. And the third spot, the third wild card, making their return to the postseason for the first time since 2016. My Baltimore Orioles. That's right. Birdland is going to be jumping this year. Chaos is coming. And it's coming for October. National League East. I got the Mets. They're loaded up, man. And it, 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 they're loaded up and they're ready to do it. Um, so I got them. Atlanta. Losing Swanson's going to hurt. Uh, Max Fried being hurt. Soroka not being where he needs to be. Going to hurt. Uh, Philly, a lot of improvement in a lot of spots. They're going to be good. Uh, the Nationals, the Marlins, I got nothing for y'all. They're going to be bad. Sorry. Uh, maybe for Miami, you could trade some of your pitching prospects or all to Baltimore's way. We can give you a couple outfielders because we got a bunch of them. You know, just hit, call us, bro. We got you. We got a surplus of outfielders. Call Mike Elias. We will get it done. NL Central. I got the Brewers. I don't know why. Uh, I think the Cubs improved, but not enough. Um, The Pirates... No. Um, I can't even remember who else is in that goddamn division right now. My mind just went completely blank. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> the other team that division? Obviously, I don't think much of The Cincinnati Reds? No. And I mean, there's another team in that division, and I'm totally blanking on them. Damn, I completely blanked on the other team in that division. Holy shit. Anyway, NL West. Padres take it. This year, they finally get the division. San Francisco. Miss net on Judge is going to hurt. Uh, losing... Yeah, yeah, it's going to be bad in San Fran. Uh, the pitching may be good, but I don't think they have enough offense to get it done. Um, Colorado? Nah, 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 no. Oh, the, uh, the the Cardinals. I'll get to them later. I'll get to them later as well. That's the other team. The Cardinals, I'll get. I'll touch on that. Uh, the Diamondbacks, not going to be very good. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much everybody in that division. So, uh, wall cards in the NL. L.A. Dodgers. St. Louis Cardinals. And the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, I forgot. The, 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 the L.A. Angels. Um, 
it's a shame that Shohei Otani and Mike Trout are getting wasted on that on that team, but it is what it is. Um, I'll get to Otani in a second. AL pennant winner, Houston Astros. NL pennant winner, San Diego Padres. World Series champion, dethroning the Houston Astros. The San Diego Padres get it done. Led by this year's NL MVP, Manny Machado. This is the year that Manny gets his flowers and gets the respect of the rest of the baseball. He's been the locker room leader for that club since he stepped foot there. He's been the guy that everybody here in Baltimore knew he was going to be when he got into his prime. And this year he gets the MVP. National League Cy Young, Justin Verlander, because nothing seems to stop that dude. He's still good at 40. He's going to, he's fucking ridiculous. NL Rookie of the Year. Vaughn Grissom, and our manager of the year, Buck Showalter, AL Postseason Awards, AL MVP, Shohei Otani, Cy Young Award winner, Jacob DeGrom, AL Rookie of the Year, Gunnar Henderson, manager of the year, Brandon Hyde. Deep dive on the Baltimore Orioles. Win total. And this is where the prediction gets fun. People have been picking the win like 78 to 80 games. 78, 75, 78 games. I've got the Baltimore Orioles winning 90 games. 90 games. Winning 90. Making the playoffs. Going to... The Divisional Series, where they fall to the Houston Astros in seven games. Next year, Baltimore wins the AL East. They go to the ALCS. They make the World Series. And they win it. Next year. This year, the last part of the rebuild is almost complete. Next year, they get it done. But the roster coming up in a month, Grayson Rodriguez, who finishes second in AL Rookie of the Year to his teammate Gunnar Henderson, who finishes the season with like a 290 average, 30 home runs, 80 to 90 RBIs. Grayson Rodriguez finishes season 14 and 6, 3.12 ERA, 198 strikeouts. Book it. Actually, don't book it. Don't bet on my predictions. You will lose money. Anyway, that's what I've got from my baseball predictions. Again, if you can put some positive thoughts out for my dad, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, sorry I've been gone for so long. New job's taking a little bit longer to adjust to everything than I thought it was going to. But I am back. Tomorrow. Well, maybe not. No. Tomorrow, I will delve into my thoughts on AEW All Access. Or at least the part I saw of it before I fell asleep. Which is the Britt Baker stuff. And yes, I'm coming loaded. And not with tequila, rum, vodka, or bourbon. But I will be giving my thoughts on that tomorrow. Until then... Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace.